Chapter six. It's one of those days. So what do you do when it's one of those days? Can I just tell you, I don't know how many times I recorded the video and I did one previously before this, but that video was way, way too long. So I'm like, girl, you need to do it over. You need to simplify it. So then I wrote a title and I didn't like it. And so what do I do? I put a piece of paper over it. And then I go to write the word one and I make an O instead of an E. So it's one of those days. And I'm not going to redo it anymore, right? Because perfectionism not needed here, right? Not needed anywhere. We don't have to be perfect. That's a whole nother chapter, okay? But this chapter, what to do when things don't go as planned? Or it's just like one of those days, right? Okay, so when, it's, when things aren't going as planned, we often are looking for a way to feel better, right? And on autopilot, on our old self, we're looking outside of us for things to feel better. That's where we start indulging. Whether it's food, a project, Netflix, we aren't feeling the emotion, we're avoiding the emotion. And we're turning to things that we think give us comfort, that we think make us feel good, when in reality, makes us feel worse, right? So when we, it's one of those days and things aren't going as planned, it's going back to that choice point, realizing this is what autopilot creates, old habits, it's giving your power away. It's letting food control you. It's letting projects control you. It's avoiding you. Okay. Your new self, you want to keep your control. So how do you do this when you're still feeling blah, still feeling frustrated, still feeling, um, not motivated. What do you do? Well, because you're trying to create new habits, you go to deep breathing, right? Just a few deep breaths will kind of recenter clear, clear your thoughts for a moment. You could go for a walk. You can do a thought dump. You could think about your future self journal. And the most important thing is to feel your emotions. So here's an example. Monday um, afternoon, I was just feeling so blah. And I, I came home and it was like three o'clock and I'm just like, ugh. I don't feel like doing anything. And yet I wanted to feel satisfied. I wanted to feel like I was doing something, but I didn't feel like doing anything. So I started to go on old, old habits. And I started looking for a project because projects totally make me feel good because I forget my emotions. I don't have to feel them because I'm thinking about what I'm doing. I'm creating something new and amazing, whatever. But let me tell you that feeling of accomplishment never lasts because I never felt my feelings. Okay. So old me started looking around the house. Okay. What could I do? What could I do? Nothing seemed satisfying. So I checked my email. Mm, that wasn't satisfying. Um, I wanted to go for some chocolate. Well, I still have after effects of COVID, I guess. And I can't taste all the time. Monday was one of those days I couldn't taste. So dang it. Chocolate couldn't even help me, which it doesn't, but I thought it could. Okay. So then I just continued with the frustration. My irritation increased. Um, I was just becoming more and more frustrated. And my brain was just like thinking of all the things I didn't do that I haven't finished yet. I want results just like you want results with losing weight. I want results with my projects. I have a list and I've been decluttering and it's just like, well, I haven't finished that room. I haven't done this. I haven't done that either. And I want this and I haven't got that yet. And my brain is doing a super good job of thinking of all the things I hadn't finished yet, or I didn't have the results that I wanted. Well, that just increased my frustration. Okay. So finally, um, eight o'clock at night, I'm like, okay, we're going to quit looking for things outside of us to feel better. So I went on a walk. I had a talk with God and I talked out loud. And all of a sudden it dawned on me, I was sad. I was avoiding feeling sad. Things that had happened earlier that day, I was sad. It still brings up emotion, okay? So I felt my feelings and I cried and I came home and I definitely felt better, but I still had my brain telling me about all the things I didn't do. And so I um, did a brain dump. And I, I just wrote down, here's all the things that I wanted to be doing. That's it. I wrote them down. And now I have my list 
and I don't have to think about them all the time. And I can go to it when I want to choose something for the next project. Also, what saved me that day and helped me get back to feeling okay, um, I had written things down Monday. No, that was Monday. I'd written things down Sunday night of what I needed to do that day. Even though I was feeling blah and a little frustrated, I had myself look at my list. I was able to give the dogs a bath. I did um, a few other things that were my top things to do that day. I did do them, even though I didn't feel like it. Okay. So that's where planning comes in that I had already planned when I needed to do that day and I could totally do it. Okay. So at the end of the night, I did my thought dump and then I wrote in my future self journal, just a paragraph. Here's what I, here's what I envision, right? Here's me at my future self. And so I was able to go to bed and sleep through the night, not my frustration. It was okay. And I, dealt with my sadness. I felt my, I felt my emotion. Okay. So that is what, um, helped me to move forward. Oh yeah. There we go. Moving forward. This one keeps you stuck. So again, go to that choice point and never give up on yourself. And remember, you always have a choice when it's one of those days, old self, new self, but never, ever, ever give up and look at this shirt. I found I'm just stand on my tippy toes here. <laughs> you are known, loved, worthy, chosen, and enough. Every single day, these things are true. Okay, keep believing in yourself. You got this.